This is my friend Kelly. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Well, I, had to, I had to bring Kelly today because she is a new slipcover and upholstery yeah. workroom. Okay. And so she had to see slip covers with Fran. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you made it. Thank you. Oh, I love that. What is that? It's a shopping bag. Keep calm and have Wyndham stitches cover it. Oh, so cool. Her friend had it made for me. Yeah. And I have a mug and a sweatshirt with it on. <laughs> That's great. And I'm thinking maybe I should have bags made for my clients, but I haven't got there yet. <laughs> Come on down into the workroom. Down. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So I see you have a walking foot. Yes, it was the first machine I bought when I started working in the business. Wonderful. And and when I met you, you were taking an advanced course, I yes, think. Yes, I'd already been doing it for a couple of years when I came to do the advanced course. I just felt I needed a little extra information. And and now with how how your business has grown, do you still primarily do silk covers? Yeah, it's my focus? main focus. Yeah, Beautiful. I do other bits and pieces, but that covers up my main thing. Great, great. So I bet you're using this machine all the time. Yeah, yes. You love it? Yeah, I do. It's a really, it's a, I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do without it. So, yeah. Fran, how often do you use your blind stitcher? Not very often because it's really for curtains and drapery, which I don't do a lot of. I'm mostly doing slip covers, so obviously the blue room. And a home machine. It, it, that's just for my um, lightweight stuff if I'm just doing pillows or I'm working with, with silk or fine cottons because the walking foot just chews them up. So I use, I use that quite, I do quite a lot of pillows, so I use that quite a bit. I, I'll never get rid of my home no. machine. No. So that's the only thing I can do buttonholes on. Yes, that does buttonholes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So good deal. Deal. And what do you have going on here? Um, this is a, a cushion. This. this is a cushion for a little chair. And, and this is actually a first for me because the client wanted it to have feather and down wrap, which mm. I've never done before. I usually just wrap with batting. So I had this made and um, this is the cover. Um, so you went to a, a down feather supplier? Harris Pillow. Yeah, I get all my pillows from Harris and I sent them a template okay. and, they, and they made it. And then I cut the foam and, um, and put the foam oh, inside. Oh, so you ordered just the cover? Yes. Nice. Yeah. This is 75% feather, 25 down. It's gorgeous. Wow, just very gorgeous. nice. And you can see the type of um, loft you're going to oh, get yeah. the crown. What a luxurious. Yeah, which you don't get with batting. That so. is such a luxurious yeah. cushion. Yeah, it will nice be. Nice job. Yeah. Look at your work. You taught me that on the original video, how to use adhesive oh, tape to match and, the pattern. And Anita Boatsma taught me yeah, that. I right. you do that all the time, and it's the only way to get a perfect match. The double stick tape. Yeah, if you try and pin it, it still moves. You've got to use the double stick tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well done. And I'm so fussy. It's got to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, I take it all out and do it again. But with the tape, it's much easier to it'll stay in place much better to stitch right. it. It kind of can allow you to be fussy yeah. without without having to yeah. do it over and over again. Yeah. I noticed here you have a curve. How do you how do you cut your foam? I, I've got a foam saw. Oh. Which oh, yeah. is a great toy. I, it just cuts through foam like butter. It's really easy. Uh, bread knives just don't work for me. Mm -hmm. And I also use um, I, I use silicone spray ah. with every cut because it just slides through really with easily. With every cut? You know, I'll, I'll do that the whole thing. Okay. And then I'll spray again, and then I'll do the next bit. Love this fabric. This what? is going to be cushions for a, a banquette. Nice. But it's going to be in, in uh, sort of wine colour, as, as opposed to black. Adorable with the bunnies. It is so the so adorable, but contemporary too. You yeah. Know what I mean, yeah. yeah. Mm. Very nice. And you've got a bunch of projects upcoming. What's yeah, going on? This is actually going to be a, a flat valance for a very, very long window. It's sort of 160 something. And it's it's completely flat. Um, and it's just going to have a sort of a, a gentle scallop at the bottom. So a soft corner? Yeah. Are you going to use like a skirtex? No, not. it's going to have black outlining. Mm -hmm. And just... it's going to have micro cord in the dark blue nice. along the edge. And I'm going to attach it with Velcro. Very nice. Yeah. And so, will you wear it? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Seams. Yeah, yeah. No seams with the, so, that would be nice yeah. with the micro cord. And this is actually for a pair of arm covers. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> and and this is actually for me. Um, I've, I've got a bench for my deck, and this is going to be the cushion. 
and I'm going to I'm going to cut the the welt straight so that when I put it together the blue will be by the green and the green will be by the blue all the way mm -hmm. along the front so I hope that'll be cute that'll be cute but it what's uh, I think surprising sometimes is for um, inexperienced cushion makers mm -hmm. it's it's not easy Oh no. Right, when you apply oh, that. Oh no, it's well, going to be a pain. Again, the double yeah. stick. Oh, helps, definitely. Right? Yeah. But that, that um, you'll, just, yours will be gorgeous. You'll have to send us a picture. I just thought that would be cute because I really wanted white in the fabric, but I, I couldn't find green, blue, and white fabric. So. Are you retail? I think about 35% of my business is with the interior designers, and the mm -hmm. rest is retail. The rest is retail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are these? I actually bought a set of um, sample pillows. Uh, that, that come in all the different um, configurations of feather and down. So there's sort of like 100% down and then 50, 50, 75, 25. And, and there are a couple of different um, uh, polyester ones. They actually, Harry's do this polyester gel. Oh, let me feel that. It feels really nice, but obviously nowhere, not as expensive as, as the feather. Right. But it's got a really nice feel. So, but now I've just discovered another option. I wonder if you're familiar with these. These are wool knops. Oh my gosh. This is 100% wool and they're, they're just wonderful. Wow. And the problem with feather of down, because some people are allergic, but they're not that fond of the polyester because right. it's all chemical. Right. This is 100% natural. Kelly, can yeah. you see this? So, Fran, where do you source this? Why this company called Paragon Wool Products? And it, it's a weird story. My, my son had been to um, MoMA in New York, and in the shop he'd seen these really cool um, throw pillows that were shaped like clouds. And he said they felt really wonderful. And I said, were well, they feathered down? And he said, no. So we went online and had a look, and it said that they were filled with wool. And literally, the next day, I got an email from this company I'd never heard of saying, here are our wool products. And um, they sent me this information. So was that a coincidence, you think? It was, yeah, it was a total <laughs> coincidence. And they sell it on Amazon. You can buy bags of it on Amazon. Great. Or you can buy a ready-made pillow mm -hmm. for sleeping on. Um, so I got in touch with them and I said, would they send me a sample? And I thought they would send me like a little bag. Like right, this. and this was and your sample? Well, that's what's, what's left of it. I made myself <laughs> a pillow. It was a huge bag. And what do you have going on here? Oh, I have a client that likes to, to travel a lot, and every time she comes home, she says, I bought some fabric and I bought some trim, and we make pillows. So this is the latest pile of stuff that she just bought, and she's nice. just, and she really likes that's beautiful trim, fabulous stuff. So that's what most of those pillows are for, uh, that have just arrived, is mm -hmm. to make, make Ooh, look pillows. Look at that look at this. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. On this. So is this going to be a fringe, essentially, yeah. around the edge of the pillow, or yeah. loop? Loop, loop nice. Yeah. Now, do you get creative license when you get a project like this, or she usually tells me sort of what she would like mm -hmm. me to do with it? She has a, she a has vision, vision, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, if if somebody will ask me to do something, and I think of something more interesting, I'll mention it. And sometimes they'll do it, and sometimes they won't. Like mm -hmm. this one. This is a little um, little loose sight chair. It's going to have uh, pleats all the way around it. Oh, mm -hmm. is are the pleats in the check? Well, actually, she, did, she wanted them in the check, um, but I didn't have enough fabric because I only had remnants of fabric. But there's enough of this Jane Churchill, so, uh, and I think that will be nice because then you've got this different, right? And then the the little pleats. Will be and when you have around. something geometric into it, pleats, that's what I said it, it could get off. kind of funky. Yeah. And you know, getting it absolutely perfect would be a pain. So with this, it'll be better. Yeah. Do you have a busy time of year with silk covers? Not, not particularly. It's, it's pretty much all over the place. Um, like this year, the first half of the year has been really, really busy. I don't know how the second half is going to pan out. And some years it's the other way around. So I, I can't say that I have a specific time that I'm, I'm extra busy. Mm -hmm. It just comes and goes. And this is full time? I'm, I'm full time doing this, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kelly just started full time. That's true. Yes. Just, just today. Yes, I resigned from my position as a speech therapist just yesterday. Oh, wow. Yes, and uh, I do have a lot of inquiries and work, 
Uh, and I recently had an inquiry for making slip covers from an existing slip cover from a copy. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you do in your work? No, I won't do that. I, I did it when I first got into business, and a friend asked me if I could make a slip cover for a sofa bed that she had, and it already had a slip cover on it. And I thought, yeah, I can do this. So I got the old slip cover and I took it to pieces to make a template. Um, but then when I started sewing it together, what I didn't know was that if you don't do it in the right order, it doesn't go together. So I would sew bits together and then I couldn't get the other bit in, so I'd have to undo it and do it again. And it took me forever. And it came out okay in the end, but it was just, it was a nightmare. And that's when I decided to go to school to learn how to do it properly, because I thought this is, this is something that I can do. And so I went down and, and did my first courses. And, uh, but I won't, people have asked me if I'll use a template, use an old one for a template, and I would say no. And another thing that I won't do is barrel back chairs. I have done them, and they're just, they're so time consuming. And they've come out okay, but it's so much work. I can't charge enough for the amount of work oh. that it is, so. To get that inside back curve. Yeah. yeah. So well, there's no place to tuck, you know, usually. Just, uh, they're just a pain, and I'm not doing them anymore. <laughs> Good advice. Yeah. So. Hey, I wanted to ask you about this. What, what is? Well, when I first started um, setting up the workroom, and I had I had this really big table, but I it was obviously was too low. It's just a regular dining room table. So I put bed risers under it, and it was just the right height. So I bought all the different, you know, the stuff were on the top and, and pinned it on, but the bed risers work really, really well. Indeed. And I keep a, a set in my work box um, when I go and do um, slip covers in house. Sometimes I'll put furniture on them to raise them up mm -hmm. to make it easy for me to pin fit. That's a great idea. Yeah. And I put all my stuff in it, my, my bed risers. Yes. And, and then I can actually. And so you put your pins and your scissors. I put everything in here. Right. And, and then I can sit on it. These scissors belong to my dad. Um, I'm actually kind of in the same profession as him. He used to make what, what was called travel goods in the days when suitcases were didn't have wheels, they were just soft bags with a zip round. And he had his own workroom and he had women that worked for him that would sew. And he used to do what he called a lay. He would put a lay on the table with rope, I don't know how many layers of, of fabric and he had uh, like a jigsaw and he would cut, cut it out and then he'd send all the pieces off to the women that worked for him. And these were his scissors. And because they're huge and I can't actually use them because apart from the fact they're blunt, um, I'm left-handed and he wasn't. And um, when we were clearing up the, the, his, the house, um, I said, oh, you know, I have to have my dad's scissors. And they're just wonderful. Look at the size of them. So, but he had big hands, so. So that's those. Um, and when I said I don't throw anything away, I even keep all the welting that's left over. And I've actually used it. Occasionally someone will want a pillow and they'll want a contrast colour around the edge and I'll find a piece in there and say, oh, that will work. And, and we'll use that for the round the pillows. Oh, you've got a coaster too. Yeah, it's just really cute. It's adorable. Uh, uh, at some point, uh, it'll have to go onto the website, but it's not there yet. Yeah. Oh, and I love getting your newsletters. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you've got a really nice newsletter. Who did your website, by the way? Um, my son Toby made my website, and it's just it's very simple, just lots of pictures, because that's what people like to see. Yes. Um, the newsletter, it's whatever projects I've just worked on, I'll just send out a picture saying, this is the latest creation from Wind and Stitches, it'll be a before and after picture. And that's it. I love that. It's yeah. one of my favorite things to oh, receive in, in my email inbox. That's I supposed to be every that. month, but they don't. <laughs> Sometimes it's two months yes. before I get them out. I have to have something that looks really good before I'll, I'll send a picture. Oh, well, really your work is always impeccable. It's well, really you. beautiful. Well, thanks. It's mostly thanks to you. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much for sharing your work with today. Great. I hope everyone's enjoyed it. I'm sure you have. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs>